Today's episode is brought to you by Honey. Welcome to Comics Experiment, the show right here on Comic Story and every Saturday that Dan and I sit down or me and Gary or once in a blue moon, me and Rob, and we discuss things about comic books, either discussing current news, going over a list and seeing if we agree or disagree, or just discussing comic book history and lore to the best of our ability. This is streamed every Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash eligiblemonster. It's then uploaded to our patreon.com slash comicstorian page. We try to make it early access, but you at least get it uploaded there as a central hub for our podcast, along with Conspiracy Cast, Three Beers, and A Topic, and CTV. Anyway, Daniel. I like the hair swoosh. Swoosh. Oh, Daniel. Yeah. Look at our lovely statues today. Oh, that I, is I'm lovely. gonna stroke uh, Harley Quinn's rocket. Okay. Um, but yeah, our lovely statues are Batman themed, as you can tell, right? Oh, why are they Batman? Did you hear the mu- news that dropped like late, 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 late last night? Maybe I did, but either way, let me let me hear it from you, Benny. Ben Affleck is officially out. <gasps> Like, officially, officially out. Um, yes. So, Matt Reeves tweeted out that the Batman movie... Uh, for the record, guys, today's topic, we're going to talk about this, and then I've got our, our list. We're going to do two things in one. Ten worst things that have been done to Batman. See if we agree oh, or disagree. yeah. Wait, done to Batman? To Batman. Ooh. Yeah. It's going to be a good list. <laughs> so, okay. So, late last night, Matt Reeves tweeted out that in 2021, the new Batman, a younger Batman take on him, a detective story, will be coming out. Ben Affleck followed up by stating basically that he was not going to be in it. They will be recasting a younger Batman. He's still an executive producer on the project. Okay. So Um, he's still a part of it, just not as Batman. He's not Batman. And he's not directing it. He's executive producer, which basically means, well, you were attached at some point. So we got to put your name on there. (laughs) He'll be uh, what I am when I leave Comic Story, and I'll just be executive producer and just let you do. Yeah, no, I'll totally totally fire you, but... It was worth a shot, guys. Um, worth a shot. With Ben Affleck gone, I thought he was one of the best Batmans we've ever had. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people like to give him crap because he decided you know, he was more of a killer Batman. He was more, more brutal. Yeah. Um, the scene in Batman v Superman where he broke in, killed all the thugs, basically. I, look, I know this is the minority when it comes to Batman, but I'm okay with Batman killing. Yeah. As long as he isn't like directly pulling the gun trigger kind of a situation. Mm-hmm. Letting villains kill themselves, I get. And this is one problem I've always had with Batman. And I wanted to discuss about this real quick, see what you okay. think about this. Um, Batman started using a gun. Batman started being willing to kill. Then they quickly adopted him to being a more child-friendly, doesn't kill, he's a vigilante. Look, I get Superman not killing because he's literally bulletproof. Yeah. But Batman is a guy in a bat suit. It's a, he's in a killer be killed situation. And that's the every philosophy I've always had with Batman. He's killer be killed. Um, don't go killing. Don't like yeah. capture the Joker and slit his throat. But if you have to pick your life or the Joker's, he shouldn't be trying to sacrifice himself. Yeah. Which is what he does a lot of times. So everyone freaking out that Batman killed a Batman with Superman. I was like, it's whatever. Mm-hmm. Half the things Batman does. Like, okay. What do you think about it real quick? And I'll give examples um, of Batman having killed for quite a while. I think him killing is very appropriate for uh, his life. Like like you said, he is he is a normal human being. Like yeah. if if he some situations, if he does not kill someone, they end up killing tons of people. And I think that kind of doesn't give him like free reign to kill but would make it more appropriate. Whereas, like you said, with Superman, he would easily go, oh, you're about to shoot someone else. I'll just fly in front of you. Whereas Batman's like, oh, you're about to shoot that other person. I could either shoot you or hope that I can get to you faster than you can pull the trigger. Exactly, and that's the problem I've always Like, I've never agreed with Batman just killing. Yeah. But it, by default, half the things Batman does would kill somebody. Mm -hmm. Like, (laughs) yeah, it's it's not so much, yeah, it's if he's capable of stopping someone, then right. obviously stop them. But if there is no other option, I'm Batman killing someone in that situation makes a lot of sense. It's never bothered me. Never, it never bothered me that he would do something like that. Now, um, I mean, Batman '89, he killed. Batman Returns, he killed. Batman the video games, you murder everyone in Arkham City. Yeah. I don't care. No, Arkham Knight, yeah. You murder everyone in Arkham City. I don't care. They're like, well, it's riot suppressive bullets. You're going around with a rapid fire gun. You hit me with 50 Gatling gun beanbags, Dan, I'm dead. I don't... <laughs> no, some people die from a single beanbag. <laughs> That's what I mean. They're... It's not like going, hey, if I shoot you with a beanbag, it doesn't hurt at all. No, you're getting shot with a beanbag. It's yeah. like getting shot with a paintball on bare skin. Yeah. 
I mean, he's it done so many, lot. and there's right. so many times he's just left people to die. Yeah. I mean, even in the comics, even recently, he just left KG Beast to die in the snow with a yeah. broken neck. Like he does the classic, uh, "I'm not gonna kill, but I'm gonna let you die." Yeah. And yeah. So I've never, I, like, a lot of people like, oh, like, I saw a comment earlier in our Twitch chat where they were like, "Finally, let's get a Batman that doesn't kill," and I'm like, I don't consider what he did killing. Yeah. Like, grabbing Plus, the gun and spraying it at the other guys? Like, it's, he did that to protect himself. He didn't do it to go, ha, 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 ha. He right. didn't punish her it up, you know? And I also think uh, something that a lot of people skip over with that kind of stuff is that doesn't affect how Ben Affleck was as Batman. That's more of a how those writers and directors wanted Batman to act and yeah. how they wrote the role. Like, as an actor... He was a fantastic Batman. Oh, yeah, he was. Like, he was a great Batman, a great Bruce Wayne. I mean, yes, the writing of how they did some of that eh, could be a little iffy, could be brought up for discussion. But as a Batman himself, I thought he was really good. Right, and so bringing it back to our topic on hand, good yeah. job with that. Ha <laughs> ha, Dan. <laughs> for a second, I couldn't tell if you were being sarcastic. No, I'm serious. Um, <laughs> So Batman as a whole, yeah, no, I thought he did a great job. Yeah. I remember when Be Ben Affleck was announced as Batman, we were all like, what are you doing, DC? Yeah. He's too scrawny. He doesn't play the part right. What are you, what is he gonna, what is he gonna do? Be like the goodwill hunting Ben Affleck? Like, what are we gonna get out of this? And he built it, like he got ripped. Yeah, he and did. He, and he became like the Dark Knight Returns Batman. And that I Batman to, kills too, by the way. So Yeah, <laughs> I need to find out what exercise regimen he's doing so that I cannot do it and stay this size. No, you gotta be. Yeah, I want to see you become Ben Affleck. Yeah. Yeah. What if I I take the Bat Fleck challenge? We Chat. can make that a thing. Chat and Twitch and YouTube. Would you like to see Dan take the Bat Fleck challenge? Could you imagine if just one day I came on? Hey guys, for some reason I'm my voice changed when my muscles changed. Oh, it was all steroids you did. Yeah. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> Arachnovolt in our Twitch chat says you'd be the big dickle. So I'm not taking the challenge to fully avoid that name. No, but you're doing anyway. the Batflex challenge. I want to see what happens. One week of Ben Affleck's workout and diet. Will you pay for the diet? I'll I... pay for the diet. Okay. Then it's actually But reasonable. you have to eat everything on the diet. You can't go two bites and be like, I'm full. So I can't pull a Houston. No. Oh. You, got, you have to do the full thing. God, Dan, that would be And you'll intense. do it for a week, and then we'll have another podcast. Dan tried to become Batflex. <laughs> It, yeah, okay. Maybe. We'll <laughs> Tevia see. says it's not a good idea. I regret bringing this up as a possibility. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you think you regret it now? I give it three days. <laughs> oh, goodness. But, yeah, no, I thought, I thought he, was a, he was a good Batman. Plus, I, I liked him as Batman because we got to call him Batfleck. Yeah. Is that... Is that like, no, it worked so well. Name, it was so good. Yeah, no, it... I don't know. It's a sad day to see him go. Mm -hmm. um, and this almost 100% confirms that probably Henry Cavill is going to go too. Yeah. Because what they're probably going to do now is they're going to do 52 it. Well, so, actually, that makes sense because uh, I'm sure you've been seeing the news as well of potentially Michael B. Jordan becoming the next Superman. No, that was rumor, rumor mill going around. I saw it come up recently as a actual potential thing. It could have been another of the fan rumored things that just happened to research. I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure that was just. Michael B. Jordan. I always want to call him Michael B. Bad. Michael B. Bad. So if if uh, it's... It, it could be a rumor. I mean, No, you're just seeing it recycle. It's from, it's, it's, it it's recycle? from last okay. September. It came up very uh, within the time window of the Batfleck thing that it could have been an actual possibility because if they are replacing uh, Henry Cavill... Um, well, they've, they've supposedly said that he, they're not going to replace Henry Cavill. Supposedly. Okay. Um... And they may, this may just be a way to replace only Batman. Because for the record, mo I don't feel anyone else in the DCEU needs to be replaced. Not really. Uh, I could see Henry Cavill wanting to step down just because he's done it for so long. Because mm -hmm. he's the longest running original member of this DCEU. Yeah, because he's been here since uh, Man of Steel. Yeah. So I could see that. And it would, it would be more of a mutual thing, not a getting fired thing. Because mm -hmm. um, I think he's a great Superman. Yeah. But um, no, no one, no, I don't think we have any real reason to replace anyone except for a younger Bruce Wayne. Mm -hmm. um, and with the confirmation that Flashpoint is going to be the Flash's movie in 2020, having a Batman movie that comes out in 2021 with a younger actor will allow us to more tweak it out and change the timeline and replace who we want. Yeah. For the record, it's really weird hearing 2020 
and knowing it's next year. Oh, I know, I know. Whew. So it's so weird. It is, it is, it is weird. Um, it's confirming a lot of what we've all assumed that DC is going for like a soft reboot per se. Mm-hmm. Um, that, but it also leads us to another bit of news that is currently floating around, which came out right on the tail of this Batfleck thing. Okay. Suicide Squad 2, 100% confirmed to have James Gunn, and is going to be a reboot in itself to make it a James Gunn trilogy. I like it. I think it's a good idea. What, well, here's my question. What is the actual reboot going to contain? As yeah. much as I love the Suicide Squad, more recently they've been known for Deadshot and Harley Quinn. Yes. So no, is this that's... a reboot that involves... Well, Will okay. Smith and Hold Harley on. Quinn? Yeah, I was going to say, it's not Deadshot and Harley Quinn. It's Will Smith as Deadshot and Harley Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> but is this reboot just going to have, like, everyone else is different? I think the reboot is um, potentially going to change up the actors, but I think it's more going to be a reboot for the sake of the way the characters act. Yeah, like I, I, I think it's more of a changing the overall vibe and tone of the Suicide Squad. Uh I I feel like some of the cast that they already had could be fine. Did they have Captain Boomerang in the movie? Because uh, I feel like... Yes, a, he was in there. He was in the movie? Because, yeah. uh, I mean, some of those roles they might have to recast for the sake of going for that kind of jokier uh, Suicide Squad feel. Um, they might need to replace some of them. But I don't think too much... Um, but I do think rebooting it is the better idea. It's the better plan because James Gunn uh, definitely does have a very unique way of doing his stuff. And it's very different from what the first Suicide, Suicide Squad movie was. And so if they didn't reboot it, it would feel very off. Yeah. Like you would feel like you're well, watching one and then another and you're like, this isn't the same thing Someone in our chat, I can look the name up, but someone in our chat just said that the rumor now is that Flashpoint isn't happening. Oh. And so I looked it up, and this is like brand spanking new news. As of 30 minutes ago, no. <laughs> no, okay, hold on. So there is a rumor that Flashpoint was going to be canceled because Batfleck is leaving Batman. Okay. That was from nine months ago. Okay. So as far as I know, because they've said that Flashpoint is still happening, so that was, that was consu- confirmed to be a rumor already that this was being canceled. Yeah. I don't think there's anything new okay. that is stating that Flashpoint is going to be canceled. Because as of... So that was nine months ago. As of October, it was still on the docket. It was still happening. Yeah. It was just pushed back to 2020. I really hope it happens because I would love to see Jason Momoa and uh, Gal Gadot being the Flashpoint Aquaman and Wonder Woman. I think that would be really fun to see. I think they would both do very well as that more serious, we're going to kill the world kind of thing. I'd be really excited for that. So hopefully it's not fully gone, assuming they do it well. Um, So... Which is a big if. I don't know. So the the, the problem with... I was was reading that up while you were talking with that. Um, The issue with with, uh, Flashpoint Mm -hmm. is that Ezra Miller is also in Fantastic Beasts. So he's in another giant franchise. Oh, okay. Which has caused scheduling issues. Mm-hmm. But as of right now, it's going to start filming at the end of this year for a release early 2021. Okay. Which they could easily work in before they do the Batman. Yeah. So, I mean, I could see for the sake of the way things go, I can understand why they wouldn't need Flashpoint because if they're doing a younger Batman, they easily just say, oh, well, this is in a different year. Right. And it makes sense that that would be a younger version of Bruce Wayne and Batman. It would be more of a uh, what would they do when it becomes a full team crossover. But I don't know. And for the record, uh, another one of our fans decided to say, do research, guys. Oh, we did. If you look it up, Flashpoint still says 2020. So regardless of it being... Do your research. (laughs) Do your research. (laughs) It's literally, literally title. IMDb. Flashpoint 2020. IMDb it's still slated for 2020. The rumors are now that because he's tied up in Fantastic Beasts, that won't happen. Mm-hmm. That they're going to start filming it so late that it's going to push back to 2021. Gotcha. But as of right now, it still says 2020. It's still slated for... There you go. Let's see if there's an exact date or is it just 2020 still. Yeah, it's just standard 2020 mm-hmm. is the official docket for it. I'm really curious to see how that goes for the record. 
The individual who said that said that uh, Birds of Prey and Harley are the only ones for 2020. Those are the only ones confirmed with concrete dates right now. Yes. But, D- but WB has a really bad tendency to just let rumors run and not change the dates until they have official ones in place. Yeah. Yeah. Always better to wait till things are concrete to change it so you don't go, hey, I changed it. Oh, we're changing again. Oh, we're changing again. Oh, no it's, one knows if we're serious I have no idea, time. honestly, at this point, what they're doing. Because think about this. I mean, originally, let's go all the way back to the original statements. Mm-hmm. The Batman was like 2019. Yeah. Well, well, that's, what, that's where a lot of these rumors started, that Batfleck was leaving. Because the Batman in, in the original, original docket was supposed to be like 2019. It was supposed to be before the 2020 mm-hmm. breakover. And things have been moved around so much. Shazam was, I think, at one point 2020. I think so. I think and Shazam was like, like way out. And we also had a Green Lantern film coming out next year at one point. <sighs> like DC, because of the DCEU just not doing what they wanted. Mm-hmm. And these actors, like they, why did they? You know what? This whole discussion is starting into a totally different thing, Dan. It very much is, but I like the way it's going. Why did DC pick all of these big name actors? Think about this for a moment. Ezra Miller, when he started as the Flash, mm-hmm. was already locked in for Fantastic Beasts. That's not a new thing. Yeah. Batfleck is Ben Affleck. <laughs> yeah. If, if, if you don't know anything about that, you need to read The only, I mean, movies. Wonder Woman's Gal Gadot, who her career was already skyrocketing before they made her into Wonder Woman. She was on Fast and the Furious and various other things. Oh, I actually didn't know that. I thought Wonder Woman was like her big breakthrough. Eh, the more you know. Yeah, but what I'm saying is these original docket had all of these movies coming out before 2020 even hit. Mm-hmm. And now none of these are even happening at this point. Yeah. Reminds me of the old school MCU one where they were, what was the movie that was supposed to come out? Oh, The Inhumans. Are The Inhumans <laughs> supposed to come out forever? <laughs> it is a good thing they canceled that. And that became a TV show. <laughs> and that also got canceled. But the- I think I think a big thing with these movies is uh, a big factor is yes they've got all these big names but I think the real problem is that because of the success of some of their movies but the huge backlash and uh, kind of failure of some of their other movies has pushed a lot of this stuff back because they're like oh originally we had this but we tried it in this movie and it did not do well. well. I mean, that's guaranteed. I think we've had, what, two change of guard? Like, okay. Yeah. DCEU first originally announced a lot, listed this long list of movies oh, yeah. that everyone was like, holy crap. Because I, I remember Green Lantern. We were like, why is Green Lantern coming last? That makes no sense. <laughs> I remember that because I'm a Green Lantern fan. And I'm like, yeah. oh, we're just trying to separate as far as we can from Ryan Reynolds, aren't we? Is that, is that exactly what we're doing with this? Oh, goodness. Um, well, luckily, he cleaned it up. I mean, if I remember correctly in... Uh, Deadpool, it's canon that he went back and shot himself before yeah, he went It's gone. Green we don't have to worry about that anymore. It's canon, guys. It's canon. But, like, they had the original group, and that didn't work. It was the Zack Snyder team. Mm-hmm. So they brought in Jeff Johns and a bunch of other people to do the movies, and that lasted, like, six months. Yeah. It almost felt like they brought them in to be the fall people for the Zack Snyder fallout. Yeah. It was so bad. And that, and then, like, every movie keeps getting delayed and canceled. Then every movie keeps getting moved off. And all, all we hear are actors are leaving. Henry Cavill's out. Yeah. Batman's out. The only people I've, we, I, don't, I don't think, because I don't follow rumor mills that closely, mm-hmm. I don't think we've ever heard of Jason Momoa or Gal Gadot leaving. No. But I do know at one point there was talks of Ezra Miller having to leave because of Fantastic Beasts. Because there was conflictions there. Yeah. Which is what's causing the delays in this I wonder movie. if those conflictions are uh, because it got pushed back. Like, if they had originally scheduled the movies and he would have been fine. WB also owns Fantastic got... Beasts, right? I think so. I'm pretty... I want to say they do. Uh, yeah. No, they do because the studio tour. They have the yeah. boat. They have the Harry Potter section. That's right. Yeah, and they have the... And apparently I'm Hufflepuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, Slytherin. So, hey, whatever. Um, you would... <laughs> I feel like the Ezra Miller situation is like, you're the Fantastic Peace people and I'm the Justice League people. I'm like, no, I get him now. Right. <laughs> no, you had him last weekend. We get him this week. <laughs> he's, like the, he's like the kid between two divorced parents. Yeah, that's exactly what he is. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Um, yeah, and then, and then we have like a thousand things happening over at DC, like Craft the Jedi just said, where they're changing up the, the people over at WB, mm-hmm. which is changing the people at DC, yeah. which is like now they're cutting a bunch of people at DC, cutting the comic books, they're getting that in line, they're, they're telling them, like, they canceled the Hanna-Barbera stuff, they've canceled the Black Label stuff. I don't think they outright canceled, but there's, there's definitely something happening with Black Label. Yeah, there's, there definitely is something going on. Because they... no book has come out except Batman Damned 1 and 2. Yeah, and those got... Quite big headlines. 
Oh, goodness. But yeah, no, I... They're really going in a weird direction, and I think they're... They're having trouble with a lot of this because Marvel is so on schedule with all of their stuff that it's almost as if the delays are also impacted by them delaying it and then going, oh crap, well they're doing this at this date, so we have to kind of work around so that we're not overshadowed by whatever they're doing. What are you laughing at? Oh there? my God! DC and WB oh, goodness. haven't changed any docket. Green Wait, Lanterns what? comes out next year, apparently. <laughs> it's still slated for 2020. I, uh... It's on IMDb. It's on the master list. <laughs> I, Dude, if that, if that magically happens, it will be the largest shit show I have ever seen. in A, a giant space opera CG fest that we don't even technically oh, know dude. anybody attached to it is supposed to come out next year. If they did, I can guarantee it would be Jon Stewart. <laughs> also, for the record, though, I feel like this day and age with uh, what movies are and like CG is capable of, I think Green Lantern is finally a possibility to be a good movie. So I'm but going. I'm that's looking. That's very interesting. That they no, it's sad. Year. Yes, but and, and it could be really good. So I'm going off of a Polygon list that they released on July 20, 11th. But I did Google it to see if it's still technically slated for a release. Okay. And Green Lantern still is. So I'm going to assume most of what's on this list is at least a, a like coming out when in, in actuality i will agree with the other individual the only two that we have dates on are the birds of prey well you know what let me see in a minute hold on birds of prey and harley Quinn. right well we got okay we have shazam that's this year we have joker this year those are both got actual dates mm -hmm. joker's october 4th we've heard like nothing on that yeah all yeah. i all i remember hearing about the joker movie was that one screen where it showed his face with like a clown face. They've also seen over. behind the scenes stuff. We've seen a couple photos, but oh, we haven't I, seen nothing else. I haven't else. looked at any of that stuff. Uh, Birds of Prey in the fabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn, which is apparently the actual that's, title. That's the name. Say that again. Hold on. I need to hear this one more time. The Birds of Prey in the fabi fabi fabtabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. That's the name that came it's out. It's a that horrible name. <laughs> you can't have a name of a movie be something that not many people can say. Um, it, this <laughs> back in July didn't have a date, but if I, remember. I, if I remember correctly, and this is completely off the top of my head, so I have nothing in front of me, I think it's February or March next year, the Harley, the Harley Quinn thing, this. Okay. So that's next year. That's That we know has a date. They've now been putting out teasers With and trailers. With that being and, a date, what, did they have any date on the Suicide Squad thing? No, well, I'm going down this list because it's on here. Oh, okay. Um, Cyborg, apparently, it was supposed to still come out next year. Have you heard anything on a Cyborg movie? No. The only Cyborg stuff I've heard of is the, uh, the Cyborg in Doom Patrol. Looking kind of weird. Oh, this is even worse! It has a date! Cyborg's April 3rd. Not this year. No, 2020. Oh, that would have been hilarious. It comes out in two months, guys. As of, Ju as of, as of July, when they looked at this, Harley Quinn is February 7th, 2020, which I, th I think is still accurate. That one I could see being accurate. And Cyborg is April 3rd. <laughs> that, if dude, that's an actual thing that like actually they, I don't happens, even think they have a director be... attached to that, so there's no way that yeah. is still coming out. Wow. Uh, Wonder Woman 1984, we've all heard about that. That is on its way. Yep, uh, supposedly one's... June 5th. And then Green Lantern Corps, it does have a date. Oh my gosh, what's the date? <laughs> July 24th. July 24th, guys, 2020, <laughs> Green Lantern in theaters. Make sure you go see it. The, the story is Jon Stewart's origin with an older Hal Jordan acting as his mentor. Okay, for the record, totally called that. That's the IMDb summary that has been... Hold on. Does this that, actually have anyone on it? That actually sounds pretty cool. That does sound really good. I actually would be super excited to see that. July 24th, company credits DC, DC, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there's no, there's no one attached. This ain't happening. I also I like right that, now, it's, uh, that it sounds like the name is the Green Lantern Corps. That's what it was, And not yeah. just Green Lantern. Because that actually gives... I feel like the Green Lanterns would do a lot better in a movie where it's not based on Earth. You know? Yeah. Like, oh, I no, feel I like agree. on Earth, like the, the CG would stick out a little too much, but like on Oa... And like learning stuff like that or in space would just kind of work way, way better. Plus it would work with the fact that Green Lantern hasn't showed up in any of the movies, <laughs> which he definitely would if he existed, being a space cop. Especially with older Hell Jordan. But anyway, yeah. supposedly that's coming out July 24th still. 
Here's hoping they get Ryan Reynolds for old down short. <laughs> uh, and then we have the Batman, which at the time of this was planned for a June 25th release 2021. Okay. Which I could see them still sticking to now that they're moving forward with Matt Reeves be, uh, getting a younger Batman. Okay. That'll they probably... haven't announced anything for the record about who they are considering for no, a younger no, Batman. No, that's not happening at all. And then the Suicide Squad 2 is August 6th, 2021. Okay. So it looks like Suicide Squad and Batman are keeping along. Um... And at the time of this, Flash movie was pushed back to 2021 with no dates. Okay. Because I think it just happened, so they didn't, they didn't hit it with a date yet. Yeah. Um, because that was a part of the issues with him and the Fatabulous... Not, fatabulous. It's not even a word. Uh, the Fabulous Beast. <laughs> Fantastic. But, uh, God damn it, Harley Quinn. <laughs> just implanted in my brain. Um, uh, there's too many words that sound the same <laughs> and merge together and... Um, and it's going to be Flashpoint, we know that one. And then, yeah. and then, oh yeah, I forgot about these announcements. Uh, Batgirl, Nightwing, <laughs> Justice League Dark, Deathstroke, oh my gosh. Ju- oh, hold Black on. Adam. You said Justice League Dark? Yeah. Okay, that sounds pretty cool because I would love to see Constantine in the movie. I forgot about this. I, I completely forgot that they just were like announcing movies for like all year. Yeah. Lobo. <laughs> that would also be a pretty good one. <clears throat> the New Gods. That sounds horrible. The Gotham City Sirens? That sounds horrible. No, that's actually... So this is the weird thing, right? Wait, is that Birds of Prey? So Birds of Prey is Batgirl, Huntress, and Black Canary. Yes. Harley Quinn and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn... Well played. (laughs) Damn. ...is about Harley Quinn, Huntress, and Black Canary. Okay. The Gotham City Sirens is about Harley Quinn, um, Catwoman, and Poison Ivy. It would be hilarious... Um, there's, okay, no, they don't, apparently, as of the time of this, they had nothing listed on it, but it'd be hilarious if they swapped Batgirl in to the Gotham City Sirens because they swapped Harley Quinn into... I feel Birds like the, the problem with saying the, the Gotham City Sirens of those three just doesn't ring a bell instantly. Like, I don't instantly go, oh, it's this team, whereas Birds of Prey, I'm like, I know exactly who that is. Harley Quinn, I know who that is. There's no way this is still happening. I guarantee you this, because I know Margot Robbie, Mar- Margot Robbie is a, like, against the way they've been portraying Harley Quinn, even though she's continuing the role. Right. Um, a Harley Quinn and Joker rom-com. <laughs> I didn't even hear that announcement. And then other Joker. Yeah, that sounds horrible. They've apparently also announced that there would be a Jared, Jared Leto Joker movie. No. Please, No. Please, please, no. <laughs> I do know about the Supergirl announcement. That sounds like it could be good. A Blackhawk movie? I didn't even hear of that one. What? Blackhawk follows the leader of a squadron of World War II fighter pilots. I know the comic. Yeah. Apparently Spielberg wants to do it. Okay, that gives me hope. <laughs> Put Spielberg's name on something and you oh, know no, it's no. going to be good. Spielberg's frequent collaborator. I didn't finish the sentence. <laughs> oh, well. I just saw Spielberg and I'm like, oh. Hype, hype, hype. Collaborator. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, huh. All this is telling me at this point is that this is still a shit show. <laughs> yeah, DC has no idea what they're doing is what I'm learning. Okay, here's, here's a question though. Uh, with that rumor of... Because I believe, I, I may have just misheard you, of the potential rumor of the Flash movie not being Flashpoint. That um, was through nine months ago. I doubt that okay. was still in place. Because I was going to ask, what storyline do you think they would do? Oh, oh, guys, no, this gets better. I found the original 2012, a listing of movies that oh, were coming God. out. I found the original. Okay, let's hear it. DC Universe and their futuristic plan for their upcoming movies. We had... Man of Steel was 2013. 2016 was Batman v Superman Suicide Squad. 2017 was going to be Wonder Woman Justice League Part 1. Remember when that was two parts? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Flash was 2018. Aquaman and untitled DC film. We'll never know what that was supposed to be. Maybe that was Joker. Maybe. Because they didn't announce Joker back then. No, that was going to come out in 2018. Oh. But there, there is one for 2019, so that would probably be never Joker. Mind. 2019 was Shazam! Justice League Part 2 oh and the untitled DC film. So I think okay. we're, well, we're just getting Shazam and Joker It's very now. good they didn't do that because I believe both of those line up almost perfectly with Infinity War Part 1 and Part 2. Well, I remember that was, the, that was the thing. They were lining them up, weren't they? That was intentional. If that's what they were intending, that was a poor... Because I remember back in this all was announced, we were all like, 
what are you doing? Right. Because I remember having a weekly yeah. poll where we specifically argued, would you see Avengers over Justice League or Justice League over the Avengers? And no one said Justice League over. <laughs> Uh, no, actually, the debate was pretty divided because of the, the star power of Superman and Batman at this point if they had successfully oh, done this. Oh, because that was Batflick yeah. and Harry, Henry Cavill. Yeah, so right. the, the star power that they could have potentially had if this had gone well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, if it had gone well is being the key. Um, and then phrase. 2020 was Cyborg and Green Lantern, Corey, which I believe both are probably going to be bumped or removed, but that's why they're still listed Yes. There. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Hmm. Look at all these different images. Oh, this was funny. Someone made out a list of all the X-Men movies, the Marvel movies, and the DC movies. In the release dates, they were all coming God, out. God, no. 2018. Let's see what, how many... I, I'm not going to go through this whole list, but I'm curious. 2018, what was supposed to come out? Okay. Uh, this image is not blowing up. What was supposed to come out in 2018, Dan? If, um, I, can ever, if I can ever view it. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look really close. Ready? Okay. It was supposed to be Thor Ragnarok. Okay. We did get that. Yes. Justice League. Okay. We did not get that. That came out the year before. Yep. And what? No, 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 sorry. I'm still looking at 2017. 2017 had Lego Batman, uh, Wolverine 3, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Fantastic Four 2. That didn't happen. Thank uh, goodness. Wonder Woman. That did come out. Uh, untitled Spider-Man movie by Sony. That was Homecoming. That must have been Homecoming. That was Homecoming. Thor Ragnarok, Justice League, both those came out on time, and Unknown Date Bloodshot movie. That didn't happen on time. No. <laughs> that definitely did not happen And on then time. 2018, in March, we were supposed to get Flash. That didn't happen. Avengers Infinity War, got that. Black Panther was originally July. They pushed it up to April. Huh. Um, unknown X-Men movie on July 13th. Did, was there an X-Men movie last year? Must have been Dark Phoenix. The plan. I can Dark see that. Phoenix. Yeah, untitled Spider-Man animated movie. Because this was movie. made before that Fox and Marvel deal, I think. Yeah, untitled Spider-Man um, animated movie, Spider-Verse. Spider that was it. Uh, Aquaman and the Captain Marvel movie was supposed to originally come out last year, November. And a lot of those changes actually do make sense because of the way, uh, like film, like the. The hot season for films coming out and not doubling up on some. Well, and, and, and like the, the problem, Black Panther getting moved up. Right. Well, the problem with a lot of that was they they these are all different studios and they all announced all their movies Ooh, yeah. without realizing that they were going to collide because that was the big debate between Avengers and Justice League because they were coming out, I believe the same week or a week apart or something. It was some yeah. It was definitely close enough that people would have to decide which one to go to. Exactly, and that that was the big thing with that. So yeah. So, okay, this turned into a much longer conversation. Yes, it did. Um, what are we at? We were at 35. Holy crap, we're still gonna do the list. Yeah. Um, but before we do the list, Dan, a portal opens! Honey is a browser extension that allows you to find the best prices in seconds while shopping on Amazon. Hate trying to decide between different highly rated vendors? Or are you feeling misled by low prices but high shipping costs? Honey searches and calculates all prices, including shipping, helping you save as much money as possible. We use it ourselves when buying things for the office or for the set to make sure that we get the best deal. One of the best things about the extension is how easy it is to use and how much easier it makes shopping for frugal people like us here at Comicstorian. Honey has over 100,000 five-star reviews on the Google Chrome store, so you know it's a good product. In fact, Time Magazine even said it's basically free money. So next time you go to shop on Amazon, be sure to use the Honey browser extension to find the best deal. And add Honey today for free at joinhoney.com slash rnbe. That's joinhoney.com slash rnbe to download the extension and start saving money by getting the best deals today. And the portal closes, Dad. That was a great ad. That was I, a lo I, I love watching these ads through the portal because the portal actually stays open for us. So oh, does it? Into it, yeah. I always just immediately go down to my laptop yeah, and start you, playing games. You look away, but I'm, I'm on Minesweeper. I'm like, <laughs> Minesweeper. <laughs> I ne I have never won a game of Minesweeper. I've no, I have not either. Can you win that? Yeah, I've seen people do it, and I'm like, how? How? For the record, we. I just want. This is for the YouTube. This is for. This is for the Twitch. I. I purposely wanted to cut down our our hosting situations down to one and two people, mm -hmm. maximum three, to cut down on tangents. 
I think this first 30 minutes is just DCEU tangents. Actually, I think the way we can cut down on tangents is just taking the laptop away from you. Because <laughs> you did, do tend to go, let's look this up. Wait, what's this? <laughs> oh, what happened here? Well, what's this? Oh my. Do you, do you feel like you also need a laptop? No, then we would never get done with the show. <laughs> we would still be recording last week's episode of Comics Experiment if we both had laptops. We got that new laptop. We're going to put one in your lap now. Oh, yeah. We're both doing research now as we go. That's me tapping, typing. <laughs> All anyway, right, so yeah. this list, uh, based on the ones I have seen, is going to go relatively quickly. It's meant okay. to be a backup to our main show so that the show lasts the usual 45 minutes to an hour. 10 list or 5? It's a 10 lister. It's from okay. Newsarama. It is the worst things that have ever happened to Batman. To Batman, for the record. Yes. Two. Um, the first thing was the death of Jason Todd was pretty devastating for Batman. Uh, the bad turned even worse when Jason came back to life as the Red Hood. Although the manner of his resur resurrection in Batman was unusual, being caused by Superboy Prime's punch from a pocket dimension, Jason used yeah. his rebirth to train himself and go after Batman, angry that his, at his own death and never being avenged. Um, it resulted as a pretty messed up mind game, so in the reappearance of Hush that floored Batman to the confrontation with the Joker, mm -hmm. Batman, Tim Drake, and even Nightwing. Eventually he became an ally of the Bat Heroes, but that was only after trying to get the best of Bruce. I don't really... I wouldn't consider that to be one of the worst things. No, definitely happened. not. Like, or at it, least not the him coming back as Red Hood. Him dying and having to go there to see his Robin dead. That I could see there. But the whole Red Hood coming back, I feel like that's just standard Batman. Of someone wants revenge for him not <laughs> helping them out. Yeah. No, definitely. And that is just Red Hood for you. Okay. Um, Tower of Babel is number nine. I don't think you know this. You know this story. You don't know it called this. Okay. I forget what the movie was called. It wasn't called this. This is a movie based on this concept. Batman mistrusts everybody. He has that box of how to defeat every member of the Justice League. Um, and okay. if, I, if I remember, the, yeah, it was Ra's al Ghul. Ra's al Ghul uh, cracked it, took it all, and was defeating the Justice League systematically with Batman's own devices. Smart, Roz. Yeah, you saw or that Raish. movie, didn't you? I'm sorry, Young Justice, Ray Shagul. <laughs> you saw the movie um, that it's based on. Did I? What was the name of that movie? The was it an animated me. one? It was an animated one. I actually one. don't. Yeah, Justice League Doom. That was what it was called. Justice League Doom. Oh, wait, maybe I have. I guarantee you've seen it. I probably have, but not recently enough for it to be fresh and ring a bell. But that uh, that sounds pretty good, but does once again, doesn't feel like a... Bad thing done to Batman. The or worst part about this was in this storyline, Ra's al Ghul, they didn't do it in the movie, I don't believe. I don't remember that being in the movie. But mm. Ra's al Ghul stole the remains of Thomas and Martha Wayne, threatened to revive them in the Lazarus pit. Oh, okay. That That is pretty messed up. That That's is pretty messed up. That's a bad thing to... Okay. Because <laughs> those would be very decayed corpses as well. Well, it's the Lazarus pit for you. I know. Can it revive them? What are the rules? Isn't there Has a time it, limit? Yeah, there's a time limit. Because in, sworn there in Silencer, there's a time limit for them getting Talia uh, to the Lazarus Pits, and she's trying to stop. Is it a plot device time limit? <laughs> it exists when we need a time limit. I, I could see that. <laughs> I could see that. Actually, yeah, because how long was it for Alfred? Yeah, no, yeah, Young Justice definitely. Or Injustice, yeah. Injustice, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's a plot device it's time plot, limit. Yeah. How long is it? Well, uh, how long do you need it to be? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go with it, go with it. Just make sure they say it out loud and you're good. Oh, in the film, they buried him with his parents. That I do remember. Okay, yeah. That is a full... Okay, that deserves I remember to that. be on yeah, this Yeah, because it was in the yard. He was fighting some big muscle-bound guy. Um, number seven, or eight, I forget where we are on the list already. Eight. Eight is memory lost. Um... At the end of Endgame, Batman was presumed dead after defeating the Joker. He lost yep. his memory. Remember that one? He got, yep. the, what, the Dionysium or whatever they, it was? Yeah, they die in the thing, and then he comes back. They have that weird heart symbol. Everyone's like, hey, we need you, Bruce. And he's like, I don't know why you need me. I'm just Bruce Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> um, he lost his memory, so he sported a beard and cluelessly volunteered at the local rec center because he no longer remembered that he was Batman, a fact that Alfred and the others didn't have the heart to tell him. Yep. Although he may have technically been happy in his ignorance, Gotham City needed him to return as Batman, and Alfred reluctantly helped him get his memories back. Um, Actually, it was never, if I remember right, it was only Alfred that didn't want him to tell. Or no, no, none of know. them did. Nightwing and all of them, they, they didn't, because they, he was happy. Oh, the Bat family. Because I was going to say, I thought I remembered the Justice League showing up and like wanting to make him be Batman again, and Alfred's like, no, like let him be happy. There, there was a debate about that. And yeah. then I, most of the time when the Justice League met with Bruce Wayne, they're like, no, he's, he's happy. Yeah. 
And so this leaves the question, is it worse for him to have his memories lost or get them back? Yeah, that's, that's a really, really tough one because it's almost with him forgetting, it's not as bad, but the him relearning yeah. would be the bad stuff done to Batman. I, I, I'm not sure if that belongs on the worst things that's happened to Batman. Turning him back into Batman? Yeah. <laughs> it's, I mean, I guess that's kind of a up to personal opinion. Whether or not being Batman and remembering all of that is as bad as it is. Yeah. But. Well, he had a lot of trauma. Yeah. I mean, Batman well, has what? seen his fair share of people die. That and he has. He's been beaten up, you know. Yeah. Emperor know. Joker's number seven. An Emperor Joker, Batman's arch nemesis, stole the reality warping abilities of Mr. Mixopitalic. The twisted villain remade the universe in a way that stuck that got it stuck in a loop, reserving the worst for Batman. The arch Joker. Joker yes. got the powers, just in case. Um, every day, Batman would horrifically be tortured, for example, having his flesh torn from his body while his mouth was sewn shut. On e and each day Batman was killed, he was then brought back to life so the Joker could repeat the process. This sounds like the worst Groundhog Day movie I've ever heard. Literally says in the next line, basically Groundhog Day for sadists. <laughs> <laughs> I love, oh my goodness. Um, okay, that's pretty bad, because that's pretty much going, hey, uh, you're now in hell. Yeah, he was, uh, and the only reason it ended because the Joker got bored. That sounds like the only reason that would end, because, yeah, Mixel, Mixel Pedelec has some crazy powers. I don't know yeah. how he stole those. I believe, it's been a long time since I read that, but he somehow tricked him mm -hmm. into giving them to him. It was like, oh, okay. like a word game kind of tricking him kind of yeah. deal. Lee Jose that. says, that's also, and you are right, it is also a storyline where Joker just ate all of China. If I remember the panel. Just ate it. If I remember the panel, it was, it was kind of racist because he ate it with like chopsticks. While racist, yes. It's very Jokery. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up real fast. Uh, Dylan can put it on the screen. Yeah, he eats China with chopsticks. I need to see this. In a Chinese box. <laughs> that is okay. That's actually pretty great. <laughs> However, yes, that that definitely deserves to be on this. But I'm surprised it's what only six or seven. Yeah, that's seven right to this point. Okay. Okay, so six, six is the Justice League limited series Identity Crisis remembers some of the nasty murders of well-known characters, but a subplot in the storyline concerned Zatanna's ability to mind-wipe villains. Okay. The mind-wipe happened after some supervillains learned the secret identities of the entire Justice League. Information that the heroes decided that the rogues needed to forcibly forget. Batman tried to stop them from doing that, and they erased his memories of the incident as well. It was a huge thing where Batman didn't trust the Justice League after this. This sounds... They've done this twice then. Yeah, they've wiped his memory a couple times. Because they did that exact same thing um, with the uh, Dr. Light. That's this. Oh, that is this That's story. That's the same story. Oh. Yeah. That makes sense why he's done it to Dr. Light, because it's in this story. Yeah, yeah, no, I remember that one. No, they did that to him, and he wiped out the ability to remember any of this, and then they wiped out Dr. Light. Um, I believe Dr. Light raped a yes, long gay man's wife. Not a long... Was it a long... I thought it was Ralph Digby's wife. I, I, I thought it was the Adams. He raped and killed somebody on the league. Yeah. It's somebody's wife. I thought it was the, the Adams' wife. No, Rape. no. No? No, didn't the Adams... Either way, they, he shows up, he rapes the wife, then they go, they're like, yeah, he's it was, done this Yeah, it was Sue Digby. But I believe the Adam had something to do with it. it. It turned out it wasn't fully Dr. Light. Yeah, the Adam definitely did have something to do with it, because I think that might have been the story where at the very end he like shrinks down into non-existence. Um, yeah, that but, thing does it too. Uh, yeah, no, I remember that one because the Justice League was like, hey, he is so messed it up. It was we the Adam's to... wife killed a elongated man's wife. But they were blaming Dr. Light for the whole thing. Interesting. Yeah. Because, yeah, I remember that. And because uh, they didn't mind wipe Dr. Light. They pretty much lobotomized him. Yeah. And then Batman's like, how do you do? How dare you do that? And they're like, ha ha, you don't remember now either. Yeah, it's exactly what it was. Um, okay, so number five, we're at Broken Back. During the Nightfall yes. storyline, the super steroid villain known as Bane defeats Batman and cripples him. While the villain is down and out, he's replaced by an apprentice, Jean-Paul Valley, who tarnishes Batman's reputation. 
The image of Bane picking up Batman and breaking him over his knee is one of the many, th many that is one of many that readers remember as a horrific moment for the character. And yeah. The ramification of John Paul Valley's actions while Batman was out was felt in the Bat titles for some time. Yeah, that was the that, that was when I got into Batman. Weirdly enough, was when John Paul Valley was this metal-clad Batman with claws and flamethrowers. <laughs> Good old John. That, I've, I've been into Batman since then, but that was like, because I was always like, Batman, Batman, he's not cool, he's not edgy. This is the '90s emo Benny, pretentious Benny. You know, remember, you remember younger Benny? Oh man, Batman kills people now, and he's got claws. It's so cool. <laughs> uh, that one, that one definitely belongs on here because I've always considered that to be one of the worst things to do to Batman because. He's still alive. Yeah. He's still aware of everything that's going on, but he can't do anything about it. So it's the, you're forced to sit on the sidelines and just watch people suffer when you know you could save them. Yeah. No, exactly. Um, that one, yeah, that one belongs on the list. Number four is Zur in Or. Okay, I probably mispronounced it because it's a weird name. When Batman writer Grant Morrison started referencing classic aspects of the character's mythos. He included his 1958 alien Batman, but with a twist. The story shows how Batman plans for everything, so he devastated. So when he was devastatingly defeated by Black Glove and Dr. Hurt, he turns into the Batman of Zur on R, which is revealed to be a backup personality that Batman established within himself in case he was mind-wiped or driven insane. Intended to take over for Batman if he was ever taken out of action mentally. The experience was obviously horrible for the character, even as it thrilled longtime fans. Sounds like a cool story, and definitely sounds like something Batman would do. Yeah. Like having a second personality for when they screw over one of them. Yep, exactly. Uh, number three is the death of Batman. In Final Crisis, Batman appears to die at the hands, or rather the Omega Beams of Darkseid. However, the hero's fate isn't death, instead he's sent through time. He has to overcome amnesia and the history of the DCU, traveling through the time stream and battling crazy stuff from history from the mind of Grant Morrison. You guys will get that joke soon. This video is going to come out before yeah. that. I, yeah, I'll just tell them. I just did the Doom Patrol, Know Your Universe. And in the middle of it, I was like, and when you say Grant Morrison's name, you can't just say Grant Morrison because everything is so, uh, uh, is so omnipotent with Grant Morrison and everything's so multiversal. You got to say it like, Grant Morrison. <laughs> it was hilarious because he says it a lot too. And I'm just sitting there working and just hear, da -da 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 -da. Grant Morrison. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Oh, goodness. So, uh, yeah, he does die. He does time travel. I can see all that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know if the because it ended well. It, yeah, no, I wouldn't say worst things. Definitely number three in this list with all the other ones behind it. I have a feeling that this is just a ten things, not a like in a specific order. Well, number two is uh -huh. the death of Robbins. Of who? The death of Robbins, the various individuals that have died around him, and I have a list of that coming out in two weeks too. Um, it's just all of them from Jason to Stephanie. Oh yeah, he's seen a lot. So the death of, of Damien. Die. Oh yeah, that one, okay, that one could be its own one in this. Yeah. Like watching his own biological son die, then going through the grief, then going to Apocalypse in the Hellbat suit sweet. to revive his son with, a, oh yeah. That one's a good one. That's a great story. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. I'm not sure about. I don't know if it's worse things done to him though. Like it, yeah. that's number three. I, if I'm because the, the way they, they number this is weird. So it's, it's eleven out of twelve. So that must be number three. Okay. Because one and two are like the blank pages. Yeah. So sad origin. His sad origin. The melodra melodramatic screening of Ma Mask of Zorro. The parents dying. Worst thing done to him. I mean, yes. I guess. I feel like that definitely deserves to be on this list, but because of the number of times we've been exposed to it, we've kind of... Oh, that gotten, was number one. That's number oh. one. Yeah, I could see that, but the number Page of times we've seen it... all ads. <laughs> the number of times we've seen and heard about that one, it kind of dulls it down to the point that you're just like, yeah, I get it. His parents died in an alley after they saw the play. We like Everyone knows that origin, that it kind of uh, just numbs you to how bad it is but when it comes down to what it is yeah i could see that considering it's traumatic enough to make him become batman okay that's a good good point to put it with that i want to point out that this list this newsarama is such a broken and weird website with their own algorithm yeah that um i've been wondering about this the whole time so i finally clicked it and now it's gone because i clicked it but no there it is 
This this list came out January 17th through the 19th. It's pretty up to date. Oh wow. They're yeah. stating that they're, they're stating that they got the idea for this list from the uh, Batman who laughs storyline. Okay. Because worst things done to Batman. Yep. Um, what it's recommending to me at the bottom, worst things that ever happened to the Justice League. We'll probably do that list eventually. That one sounds. But then good. it's recommending post Batman life begins in Justice League uh, of America number 18. And I'm like, wait, that's not even a book going on. So I click it. Uh-huh. It's a story from 2017. That's what it's recommending to me, so... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. So, eh, this is okay. I, I don't know. You, when you hear worse things done to Batman, you think something more larger and bigger. Yeah, and... I feel like... It's almost A lot of this if... is in continuity. I feel yeah. like a lot of the out-of-continuity stuff is even worse. Yes. Like when he had the Joker sewn to him in Future's End. Yes, I think a lot of the ones that are out-of-continuity, out of... Continuity, out of uh... Not in the main timeline, like kind of the Batman Dam number two, like the Harley situation. Yeah. Or to- yeah, there, there's definitely other ones I would have put on the list, but I also feel like a lot of those kind of boil down to also what I said about the origin, where it's we've been exposed to so many that some things that are horrible don't sound as bad because we've read so many other things that are bad to Batman or Are you saying we're heroes? desensitized to all yes. these things? Yeah. I really think so. That's that's a good way to put it. It's them video games. I've seen Senators. Video games. <laughs> that make you all bad. Yeah. Always playing I don't know how games. my waifu game of uh, girls in bikinis fighting makes me evil, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, I, I, I don't That's know. a legitimate game, by the way, guys. <laughs> Senran Kagura, Burst Renewal. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway, guys. Um, <laughs> Dan's like, did you, did you not realize it was there? No, I, I did, but I didn't, like, fully look at it. <laughs> what a ridiculous so thing. It was a fun uh, comics experiment. Yeah. Was lot, I thought the to- opening topic would only take us like 10 minutes, but it just turned into us it just deep diving out. into the history I feel of like, announcements in DC. I feel yeah. like every time we mention something about either Marvel movies or DC movies, we start off and we're like, uh, it's like the Suicide Squad 2 thing with the James Gunn, where we started it off and we're like, yes. And then we went into a full conversation of, well, this is what I think they could do or what they did yeah. with the entire universe. Plus the experiment. We don't know what's yeah. going to happen. <laughs> you get to experience it with us. Experiment with us. So, okay, so let's end this topic. Yes. We already got in that. Last topic. There's four DC movies planned for next year. Do you think we're going to get them? <laughs> I, it's Birds I, of Prey, Cyborg, Green Lantern Corps. At least one? <laughs> Hopefully. Like, can we get one of those? Hopefully, I mean. <laughs> well, there's another one, but I don't even remember at this point. All right. Harley Thank- Quinn. Harley Quinn. Thank you, guys. No, Harley. Yeah, Harley Quinn. Yeah, that is next year. So yeah. it's Harley Quinn, Cyborg, Green Lantern Corps. Oh, my God. No, I said Harley Quinn. That's Barley- no, that's you Birds said of Birds of Prey. Oh, Birds of Prey is Harley Quinn. They're not, it's not a separate movie. That's, they're the same. Oh, I think- Birds of Prey and the fabulous emancipation of one Harley oh. Quinn is the same movie. Whenever you said that, you... You thought it was two and- movies? Well, when you said and, I was like, oh, there's... The Birds of Prey and the Harley Quinn movie. I didn't realize that it was all the same. That makes the title even longer and worse. <laughs> dude, dude, you know what would be the weirdest? Like, if we slipped into another dimension? What's they that? They canceled the Harley Quinn movie, put it to 2021. Uh-huh. Whatever the other one is, that I, can't, I still can't remember. There was another one that was coming out. They canceled that one next year, right? Mm-hmm. And we only get Cyborg and Green Lantern Corps. <laughs> that would be hilarious. We get the two that no one expects. Oh, and one of Wonder Woman no 84. Wants. That's next year, too. That one's definitely yeah. coming out. No, no, no. I would, I would laugh so hard if they got delayed in this mysterious cyborg and, and Green oh Lantern movie just suddenly showed up. That would be hilarious. <laughs> would be the best secret kept and would be even better if they turned out to be amazing movies. <laughs> like they come out and everyone's like, did you see the cyborg movie? Oh my it's God. It's the best thing I've ever seen. Uh, uh, Black yeah. Adam apparently exists, Aaron, in our Twitch chat. She asked about a Black Adam. It has no dates as far as I know. I guarantee you that will not have a date until Shazam either tanks or does well. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what's going to happen. <laughs> and it's going to be the sequel. So, so, yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed today's comics experiment. A little more off the wall than usual, but hey, we've been doing this over a year. You guys know this kind of thing exists and happens. Yeah. You can find Dan over on his Twitter at... Dan T. Producer, 
or on Twitch at DanTStreamer. And you can find me right here at Comic Story and at their Eligible Monster Gaming channel or over at our Patreon.com slash Comic Story and other various podcasts or Twitch.tv slash Eligible Monster or on the Comic Story on Twitter at Comic Story. And you can also find me over at the Instagram of the Comic Store and I've sucked in too much air. I got a burp coming out, Dan. I got a burp. But don't forget to go to joinhoney.com and check out a great way to find ads and deals over on Amazon. I gotta go because I'm gonna be very rude. Oh, it's still small. It was nothing. <laughs>